glamorous but it's been a long day so I've like took all my makeup off and stuff um and yeah I just thought I'd show you a few bits that I've got um this is actually new this fleece um I got this a few days ago um but I have been shopping today and I picked up a few bits so I just thought I'd show you what I got so I've been to Lush wanted to go in and look at the Valentine stuff and I didn't actually get anything from the Valentine's collection, but I did get some other bits. So I got one of these little charity pots. I've already got one of these, but I'm just going to shove this in my handbag. Um, these are a pound, and it's just a little pot of hand and body lotion. But it's nice to just keep in your bag for your hands. Um, again, that was only a pound. She also gave me a sample of this soap, and I can't remember for the life of me... I don't think she's even put it on the receipt. I can't remember what it was called. Um, no, she, oh, no, she hasn't. But um, the trouble with their soaps is they dry my skin out quite badly. But this one is really, really moisturising. So if you know what this is, then let me know. It um, it smells quite neutral, quite oaty. But it's really, can you see, it's really, really moisturising. So she's given me quite a big sample of that to play with. Um, I really wanted a shower gel and I wanted something that smelled like Godmother and there wasn't anything, you know, Godmother soap. So instead I went for something that smells like Honey I Wash the Kids soap, which is the honey one. It also smells like the Honey Bee Bath Bomb. This one is It's Raining Men. And it just smells lush. <laughs> Oh, it smells so good. This is the 250 gram one, which I mean, lush shower gels are not cheap. This was 8.95 for this, which is ridiculous, but it smells really good. And then to go with it, I bought um, a, oh, I bought a scrub, like a, a body scrub wash. It's in a bar. It's called Buffy. Apparently, this is new. And I also bought the tin that it goes in. But this is quite natural. And she used this on me in the store. And it's really fine, but it's really nice. It feels really nice. So, And because of the smell of that, that goes with the shower gel. So that's what I got from Lush anyway. All very neutral. 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 I can't talk. Neutral today. Um, and they don't do the paper anymore. They now do this big fat magazine which is quite cool so I'm going to sit and have a read of that later there's a new shop in Peterborough called Asylum and they do have a website which is whereasylum.co.uk and Jess told me about this shop it sells punk stuff and goth stuff it sells um, crazy colours hair dye it sells hell bunny and I found two t-shirts in there. Their women's clothing will not fit me because it's all really small. So I bought two men's tops. So this is the first one that I got. And it says, if you're happy and you know it, clap your O. Because he's only got little hands. And I thought that was really cute. So I got that t-shirt. And then behind it was this one. And I fell in love with it. And obviously it's zombies. So I had to get this one. Hang on, it's all stuck together. This is my zombie killing t-shirt. And I just thought that was really funny. So I got those two from Asylum. And like I said, I wouldn't normally condone spending 30 quid on two tops, but they were super cute. Um, I've also been to Asda. I didn't get much from Asda Living today. I only got two things for myself. All the rest was for Immy. Um, I was going to get this the other day when I bought this, but I didn't have enough money. So I got it today. And it's just a basic t-shirt, and it just says... Um, West Coast, West Coast, California, 1978. But there's a whole range. Like, there's this, which matches this, which says Brooklyn on it. 
Um, there's bottoms, there's a couple of other tops as well. But this one was only a fiver, so I thought I'd get that. And then I saw this jumper as well the other day, and I didn't have enough money for it then, so I got it today. I don't know what drew me to it, but it's just the same colour pretty much as what I'm wearing. Very, very oversized and baggy, but it's it's got loads of holes in it, which I don't know, I just really like. And I think it's going to kind of sit off the shoulder because it's got quite a wide neck and it's long. But I love it. So I got that. That's all I got from Asda. And then I went to Primark. Um, got some tights for me. Got quite a few bits from Primark. A couple of bits were in the set. Oh, I've got some socks. That's exciting. Always exciting. Um, I got these leggings that were in the sale. And they're only £3, but I thought they were cute. They're quite... They're a little bit sheer, but that's okay. I always wear long tops with leggings anyway. So I got those. Um, then I got a couple of these strappy tops because I've got... No, I'm not wearing it today. I've got a neutral one that's got a hole in it. My friend's dog bit a hole in it. So <laughs> I had to get a new one. So just one of them. They're £2. And I got one in black as well, which is £2. This is actually a men's top, but I thought it was quite girly. I'm not being funny, but if you've been in Primark lately and you've looked in the men's section, do you think a lot of the men's clothes are quite feminine looking i mean there was a jumper there that was covered in mickey mouse heads and i thought that was quite feminine and some of the other stuff they had was very feminine cut and this is a men's top but i thought it was quite feminine so it's just one of these like baseball tees and it's really long and then it's got the long black arms but i thought that was quite feminine i i wouldn't picture a guy wearing that personally but i thought it was nice that was eight pound um and then I found this one. This is a, a woman's. All the rest is women's. Another. I'm really into these sports tops. This is 19, 1987. Only two years out. So it's like a baseball-y top. But then it's got these lace sleeves. Which I thought was really cute. Very sheer. So I'm going to have to wear a top under that one. That one was £7. Found this one. I thought this one was cute very patriotic so it's just the american flag and then it's got the superman logo on it that one was six pound i got this one because i thought it was really cute and bright and i thought it'd be nice for spring if we ever get spring and it's just got mickey and minnie all over it and i just thought it was really cute that one was also six pound very bright that one and then the last one that i got um my friend who I went shopping with today, he actually found this and he knows me so well. He knows my taste so well, bless him. And he found this and he just sort of held it up. He didn't even say, look what I found. He just held it up and I was like, oh my God, that is awesome. Started bouncing up and down. And it's just a jumper, but it's covered in my little pony. Look how cute it is. It's very similar to the Mickey and Minnie Christmas one that I bought. But it's, it's absolutely covered in My Little Pony and I really like it. And this was a tenner, but it's super cute. And that's everything I got today because the only other stuff I got was um, a couple of school bits for Emmy. So that was my shopping day today. This is probably one of the quickest hauls I've ever done. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys and I will see you all soon. Bye.